Hi everyone, here with Invent or Don't Invent and wanted to just share a cool idea but the problem is that I can't really show you in or with my images because um, I guess I can like on my iMac but it's all the way over there <laughs> and um, anyways this one is about a bed it's about a bed right you got a bed and it reaches all the way over there all the way to over there and what I was thinking was um that like think about okay think about like a heat plate right you have a if you have a heat plate underneath your mattress but like a stone or like a like a concrete base that can't that will be impossible to turn your sheets or your bed on fire or to or at a melting point just enough to allow the heat to rise up to the top of your mattress so if you're cold your bed will be like a hot spot if if it's hot the stone will turn cold so your bed will then turn into a cool spot that and you know your 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 um your body and the sheets won't bother you with sweat and you'll still be able to cover yourself especially for like the summer um or like if you're in bed with your wife Or if you're a female with your husband or whatever else, you know, you know, you could think of or whatever. But, um, but yeah, like, you know, it's just comfort. It's comfort is what I'm trying to get at. And I guess, of, of course, this will, this idea will be, um, el electricity. And I know there's already heat blankets. But the heat blanket, you know, think about it, it's it's above you. So the heat raises to the top. So you're losing, you're actually losing in a way heat as opposed to it being underneath your mattress and that heat rising to the top of your mattress and warming up your body and your blankets. And I guess... It could be operated like through an app or like um, through your smartphone or website, um, you know, and, and um, y you know, you could always be comfortable in that way. Um, and like, you know, like beds, they ha some beds have the metal wiring um, spring so there's already metal there and I know for newer mattresses it's no longer there so that's why it would just be a flat surface if you could think about that with a metal 
when n the negative and positive electrodes hit it, it would turn hot or cold. Um, or imagine if you could kind of heat it up with like a candle or something. So underneath you, you have a candle that will light up. That will heat up a, a wire spring that will be connected that's in inside of a concrete stone or something and the candles will be like at the foot of your of your bed you know of course protected to not cause a fire or it could just be electrical thing because see the the problem with um heat blankets from what i heard is um that they they could start fires and stuff so you know maybe if if these if these heating systems are in case it will and you know and, and it will only get at a, at a certain temperature so it it won't burn you um and it won't burn anything around your bed or anything like that so it'll be more an advanced bed for you because we spend the majority of our lives sleeping anyway. So I don't know, maybe it'll be too much like electricity bills and stuff like that, but it'll be great for people that could afford it and people that don't mind sleeping comfortably and that want to spoil themselves and I guess later on in the future just like a smartwatch right there's the fitness ones and there's smart watches right so maybe it'll be able to operate the app will be able to operate based on the heat of your body maybe which will tell the sensors what temperature to kind of go off on to keep your body at a comfortable state throughout the whole night because you and I know that the temperature drops or fluctuates over the course of of your sleep and there's a like cool zone or I don't know um maybe you work night shift and you have to sleep during the day so there's a heat zone you know that type of thing and then you know speaking about this stuff I was thinking that this this idea can also be like integrated like in a um in your AC in your heating and AC units because think about it have you ever picked up a rock outside of your home and it absorbs the heat it's a conductor of heat. So it collects that heat. And have you ever noticed if you have, you could have the furnace on all day, but then you turn it off and it kind of goes cold all of a sudden. That's because the heat has nowhere to like really embrace itself into, if, you know, per se. Like giving someone a hug. So, you know, you have, and even the cool, the coolness. Like if you're, if you ever notice, you could be in your vehicle in the summer, get out for a few minutes, even though just 
a few seconds ago, you were in your in your vehicle, and it was like, you know, sixty degrees, seventy degrees, and it was so cold. And then you go back in your vehicle, and it's super super hot. But if if the the coolness was absorbed in a stone or something like that, then that coolness will linger. And it will take a long time for it to escape that that area. So anyway, I, I hope maybe this will inspire some people especially like AC unit people, um, people that deal with electricity and, and beds and stuff like that. I believe it's a great idea, great little concept, maybe something to conduct some science experiments on, maybe. So anyway, give it a shot. You know, think about some ideas. If you guys like this, these ideas or concepts that I kind of shared through this video, go to Facebook and I have a page there. It's called Invent or Don't Invent. And you'll see more ideas there. God bless everyone.